actually, what the High Court decides eventually does make its way down to our local businesses and our livelihoods. Hi, I'm Candy Cushman with the Family Foundation of Virginia, bringing you today's Speak Up Conversation Tips, equipping you to have conversations with friends, neighbors, and loved ones on issues you really care about. Today's topic, religious freedom, and how U.S. Supreme Court decisions impact the everyday lives of people just like you and me. A lot of times when we hear about Supreme Court decisions, they can seem pretty complex and far removed from our day-to-day -day routines. But actually, what the High Court decides eventually does make its way down to our local businesses and our livelihoods. Just ask Tom Rust, a Christian business owner in Detroit. He runs Harris Funeral Homes, which has been in his family for five generations and won awards for outstanding service to the community. Even so, Mr. Ross recently learned the devastating news that he'll have to shell out a quarter of a million dollars in legal damages. Why? Because he tried to implement his business's dress code, which basically required men to dress like men and women like women. All in an effort to really keep the focus on the grieving families they serve. This all started when one of his male employees made a decision to live as a woman. Fast forward several years later and Mr. Ross found himself part of a landmark Supreme Court case. You may remember hearing about this decision back in June under the name Bostock v. Clayton, when the court basically redefined the meaning of the word sex in federal laws. As Justice Brett Kavanaugh explained in his dissent, for 45 years, there have been proposals in Congress to expand the definition of sex from just male and female to also include things like sexual orientation and gender identity in federal laws. But in one fell swoop, the court just overrode that whole democratic process and took it completely out of the hands of our representatives. I think it's fair to say that this was another Roe v. Wade style decision legislating from the bench. And this hits even closer to home, considering that here in Virginia, our General Assembly recently passed one of the nation's most sweeping LGBT-focused laws. So why does this matter to you and your family? All you have to do is look at what happened to Tom Ross and his family business to understand how this policy, these kinds of policies, can be used to punish Christian business owners, religious schools, and churches in our state. If you'd like more facts and information on what you can do about it, be sure to click on the link provided in our post description. And remember, we are stronger when we speak together. Brought to you by Speak Up Virginia.